Uh, hello, Minister, and good to see you in this new year. Thank you. Uh, Minister, uh, we were lacking something, and we are still lacking uh, in terms of the math skills. Uh, because like uh, when we see our kids and youth, their math skills are not that so great. Reason, when we compare them with the same grade students of other countries when they migrate here, especially from India also, I, I talk, the, those students, they have very high math skill grade. They, they don't use calculator. They do maths uh, on the tips also. So what is the reason for lacking these skills in our youth and kids? And this is a good step which you announced today. Uh, so why we were lacking at what yeah. more to be done so that our kid and youth, they are good into the math skills because maths is used in most of the time in our life also. Thank you. Thank you, Nitin. You know, so many times I meet families, you know, as you know, I'm a son of immigrants and I have friends from Europe in India, in China, in Singapore and everywhere in between. And they say to me, I thought this is supposed to be the gold standard. And yet back home, wherever they're from, it could be literally anywhere, it seems. They always suggest that they have a better standard, higher expectations, and greater rigor when it comes to mathematics, particularly literacy. So this is my way of acknowledging we, as Canadians, have to do better. We need to be the gold standard. And it is my mission as minister to elevate us, to become the global leader in literacy and mathematics and skills development. And I know we can do it. We've got the talents of this, this amazing young kids supported by you know committed parents we live in a wonderful country of great diversity and economic opportunity but if we don't ensure the kids master the skills at the front end they're not going to be set up for success and so to your point on mathematics the, the problem is that the former liberals did not have coding or financial literacy or any mandatory expectation they didn't even have ai which was a massive disruption to the economy and yet they allowed the math curriculum to be 12, 13 years out of date. The science curriculum, 13 years old. So we were the government under Premier's leadership mandating financial literacy in every grade, like even in grade one, using a basic piggy bank model, we literally do. We teach kids basic money skills, the concept of saving, of debt. As you get to grade eight and nine, we start to teach about mortgages, about taxation, about savings for a home. We actually require, if you want to graduate in this province today, you now have to build a literal budget for the year after graduation. So we're requiring hands-on knowledge that the former liberals didn't do. Uh, and they followed a very different system of curriculum. They were ideologically driven. I'm driven by the science, the evidence, and what are the life skills young people need to succeed. And so I want this generation of kids to never say to their parents or, or, or future ministers, why did I learn that? I want them to know instinctively that that knowledge is good for them in school, but in life as well. And we're going to marry both of those as we get back to basics. Ontario government has September 2025 to the kindergarten has modernized the curriculum. So they said that the back to basic kindergarten curriculum is mandatory so that the children who are in schools can be strong and the skills strong and the children can get the benefit. Education Minister Stephen Lecce ने ये भी किया कि change लेना सौखा नहीं होंडा, so उन्हें इस side जितने भी teachers हैं, so पहली बार होया उन्हें दे पांच साल दे career चु कि वो teachers दे नाल खड़े हैं, क्योंकि यार teachers दे भी मांग सीगी कि curriculum चु changes लिया या जान modernize कितना जाए ताकि बच्चे आधे skill strong हो सकन, उन्हें ने क्या कि मैं teachers नो नहीं किया, but teachers ने ऐस चीज दी जड़ी मांग रखी और मैं के जो बैक टू बेसिक किंडरगार्डन करिकुलम है उन्हें मॉडर्नाइज किता जा सके सो so, आज जड़ा है सितंबर 2025 तो लागू होएगा असी देख दें यदि ऊपर स्टीफन लेच्चे ने की स्टेटमेंट देती है मेकिंग दिस ईयर इट्स अ पॉजिटिव अनाउंसमेंट एस वी गो बैक टू द बेसिक्स ऑफ एजुकेशन इट्स ऑल अबाउट एम्फसाइजिंग लिटरेसी major gaps on the former liberal uh, program, kindergarten program, last updated in 2016. And we know that for young people to succeed, according to every parent, every expert, and every job creator in Ontario and the country, we need to ensure young people master the literacy skills, the math skills, in order to have lifelong success, both academically and in the employment sector and beyond. And so I'm determined as your minister and our government to step up and really disrupt these systems that have really not been working for kids and to demand better. 
and to level up with the highest standards of expectations. And finally, rigor, standardized rigor with uh, a belief in leveling up so that we bring everyone to a higher standard of literacy and math skills. And so today we unveiled the plan, $65 million of investment, uh, 700 specialized math teachers for the next two years each year. We've unveiled a plan to screen every child, senior kindergarten, grade one and two, and most importantly, update and formalize a kindergarten curriculum, not a program. This makes it a bit more um, official with greater standards and expectations where every single day children are gonna be learning uh, about literacy and basic phonics skills by introducing phonics back into the classroom. We're bringing in mathematical requirements every single day where kids will learn basic number skills uh, as well as things like coding and fractions, uh, basic knowledge in a very elementary way, it's age appropriate, but it builds their confidence and it makes it enjoyable to participate and learn in math or in reading and writing. And so this is Ontario's plan to become a leader uh, in this country and, and beyond so that young people are confident in those skills and that frankly, they master them at the front end of the learning journey. We know the cost of illiteracy is billions of dollars to our economy and our productivity, let alone the mental health of these kids, they lose their confidence. So this is about really bolstering their confidence, their skills and their future prospects as leaders in this country by going back to the basics and strengthening those skills and telling teachers and school boards, this is what matters most and this is what we wanna see more of. Part of our curriculum is also, uh, it's what we call a systemic approach, meaning every child in every school will be required to do this. Currently teachers, you know, each school has a different approach. Each school board may have a different approach to how they uh, educate kids on literacy math. This creates a systemic standardized system that is consistent uh, where a child is learning how to read uh, very basic lettering skills and of course, strengthening their numeracy skills. So I am excited to unveil this with the full support of expert educators in kindergarten, uh, the children, the Child Development Institute, and many others who've called on the government to follow the evidence, follow the science, and get these kids on track with a better, stronger, and frankly, uh, more rigorous academic journey. And we're doing it today uh, with, in partnership with Logan, uh, our Premier Doug Ford, and our entire team, because we know uh, as government leaders, for Logan as a parent, among others, uh, we've got to expect better for our children. So I'm looking forward to this being unveiled in September, 2025. In the meantime, we're going to keep super focused, uh, zero, uh, super focused on um, on our mission to build those fundamental skills. Uh, and I just want to again express gratitude to the kindergarten teachers and DCs. They make a big difference in the life of children. We are so grateful for them, and uh, uh, I really do believe that if we can allow the kids to still use the discovery model, that the play model, or they're you know they're learning through discovery and inquiry and uh, you know, they're being kids. I mean, kids are going to be kids. I'm talking about grade junior kindergarten, senior kindergarten, you know, four or five years old. But we're adding and layering in a more standardized, rigorous approach to learning that includes real expectations of learning day to day. So, you know, kids are going to still have fun, still enjoy the experience, but they're going to have greater rigor and academic focus on reading, writing, and math. And that is a good thing. And that's a response to the parents of this province who've asked government to make their priorities government priorities. And we've done that by adopting Bill 98, the Better Schools and Student Outcomes Act, that now preserves and strengthens parents' voices and makes sure you are in the driver's seat as we require school boards to go back to the basics, even if they don't want to. By law, they will, and they are, because we've created accountability on them to really do what I think every parent knows needs to be done, uh, which is um, building the foundations of learning.